everyone today on cravings food adventures we are going into your pantry and your freezer to make a delicious recipe by gordon ramsay this is a sardine and shrimp pasta we're going to be using the humble sardine that you can find anywhere any grocery store it's so economical and it's so easy to use all i'm going to do is take the bone out of the sardine and leave it aside I'm also going to work on my shrimp. I've got some frozen tiger shrimp that has been previously deveined. If you're not going to be using frozen shrimp, you're going to be buying fresh shrimp, please make sure to devein your shrimp. I'm going to save the shells because if you've watched my previous videos, you know I don't like to throw anything away. I'm going to add a really simple marinade to the shrimp, just a little bit of salt, pepper, and some chili flakes. We've also got some sun-dried tomatoes. Now, sun-dried tomatoes is going to give this dish a fabulous flavor. I'm going to make some breadcrumbs. I'm simply going to take a slice of regular bread and I'm going to put it through a food processor. It's going to give me some fabulous results with a lovely texture of breadcrumbs. If you don't want to use a food processor, don't worry about it. Just go take your slice of bread and just crumble it between your fingers. I'm going to take a pan, I'm going to heat a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to add one teaspoon of garlic to it and then I'm going to fry my breadcrumbs in this mixture. The breadcrumbs is going to soak up all of that olive oil and garlic and it's going to be delicious. This is going to be used much later to top my pasta. Once this is cooked, I'm just going to put it aside. Next, I'm going to swap the frying pan for a saute pan and I'm going to add some olive oil to my saute pan. I'm going to add one onion that I chop really finely. Now this is about a cup of onion and I'm also going to add another teaspoon of chopped garlic as well as two green chilies that I've sliced. I'm going to let this cook for a little bit till the onion turns golden brown. Next, we're ready to add some sun-dried tomatoes. I've got five slices of sun-dried tomatoes. I've chopped this as well, and I'm going to add it into my saute pan. Once I've got the sun-dried tomatoes in, it's time for the start of the show. I'm going to add the sardines in, and I'm going to mash it with the back of my spoon. Following the sardines, I'm going to add about a cup and a half of chopped tomatoes, and I'm going to stir it really well as well as I'm going to add a teaspoon of capers. Now I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let all of the flavors mingle together. While my sauce is cooking, I'm going to work on the pasta. I've got a pot already boiling with salted water and I'm going to add 400 grams of spaghetti. Now you can use any kind of pasta that you like. You can use spaghetti, spaghettini, fettuccine, whatever you like. I'm going to cook that till it's nice and al dente according to the package instructions. In the meantime, I'm also going to cook my shrimp. I'm going to use the same pan that I used for the breadcrumb mixture. I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to saute my shrimp for about 30 to 40 seconds on each side. Now I want to cook my shrimp separately because I do not want it to overcook. The last thing you want is your shrimp to be rubbery. If you want your sauce to be a little bit creamy, feel free to add a couple of tablespoons of cooking cream to your sauce mixture. Once my pasta is cooked, I'm going to drain it and then I'm going to add it to my sauce and I'm going to mix it together. Add a little bit of the reserved oil that you get from the sun dried tomatoes. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley and now it's ready to plate. I'm going to add my pasta to a plate and I'm going to cover it with some more chopped parsley and I'm going to top it with that delicious breadcrumb mixture and let's not forget the shrimp. You can add as much shrimp as you like to your plate and it's ready to serve. Now I'm also going to make a delicious crab and parsley garlic bread to go with this pasta. If you want the recipe for that, stay tuned till the end of the video and I'm going to post a link there. So. Doesn't it look delicious? I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment and I will see you next time on Cravings Food Adventures. Take care. Bye.